Well, and can, can we talk about tack peas for a little bit? It's it's weird when you we talk no. about uh, tack peas. They're not here to be represented right now. I'm, I am not. the the tack pea representative for all intents and purposes. Nice. Well, you, you were the, hey, I'll tell you what. I can't wait till those videos start dropping. You went to the tack pea roundup. You were the man. Like you, you really are yeah, the bridge were. to the tack pea world. Dude, Tommy Case is a large human. I yeah, did not realize he, no, how he's tall huge. he was. Dude, I, I love yeah. getting that text. You're like, bro, Tommy Case is really tall. I'm like, yeah, he's a mountain of a man. He's yeah. a big yeah. dude. He like brings me should... for a hug, and I'm like at his mm-hmm. like nipple. Like, yeah, how do you think I feel? <laughs> right? <laughs> he just puts his at his waist. Like, <laughs> he's just like, come here, buddy. And he always just buddy. like really hugs and I've just got a like head uh-huh. in his chest. Like, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, okay. I feel so safe. <laughs> but I feel but it, safe. <laughs> But those guys, like the capability, if you're a JTAC, right? And the controllers, it seemed like were a lot more uh, focused on the the other soft teams that we we put them out with. But those, these guys were running all over the country, like all these teams all over the place. If they need a JTAC, they just put in a request. And I don't know how many times, and I'm sure you guys have heard the same stories. There's like these TAC P's out there in country. And they're like, hey, guys, to like their battalion or whoever they're with, they're like, I got to go for like two weeks. They're like, where are you going? They're like, well, this helicopter's landing right now. And they need me to go. Like, this, it's not a movie. Like, I'm leaving. I'll be back. So adios. And then they go off with a group of some dudes to a place to do some things, drop some bombs, vaporize some people, and they come back. Like, it, it's, it's, that is not going to happen if you're one of the other, you know, soft teams. No, and it happens all the time. Like we joke around, I, I've never been on a deployment where somebody hasn't come and asked me for somebody on my team to go support their operations yeah. for a oh, limited yeah. amount of time. It's happened every single time. Um, yeah. And I, again, I've never, I don't think I've ever been deployed and seen another team do that. Just farm out a dude or two here. And by the way, no formal agreement. I, in Bagram 2000, winter of 2014, there was something called the Aerial Response Force, the ARF. So the larger Army 82nd, uh, you know, cab had a response force that was sort of like us, right? They had extrication tools and they could provide security and they had a limited amount of rescue knowledge and experience. And we trained with them all the time. We're like, hey, we're going to train with you guys because we have these skills and a rising tide raises all ships. If we're not there, you guys need to be able to hand your, handle your own problems. We got it. Well, it got to a point where we developed such a relationship that we had a bro deal where if they got a call, we had three guys that had their kit loaded out and they would just hop on, no kidding, a four wheeler and tear ass down the flight line and go with them on their 47 to be the the subject matter experts and essentially run the crash site. That doesn't happen anywhere. I didn't have an 82nd airborne guy that I'm like, listen, if I need you, you got to be here in like five minutes and we, you're part of the QRF. You're coming with us. That's happened every single deployment I've ever been on. And I think it speaks to the value of what aspect war is and what you're going to be able to do. And by the way, those, those guys were my junior E fives. Those, those, yeah. those guys that I had, I was, those were my junior staff sergeants. One guy was on his first deployment. One guy was on his second. And I was like, okay, this is it. This is how you get experience. You go attached to these teams. You're going to be on your own. I'm going to loose you to these dudes and you're going to go help them fix their problems. Yep. Yeah. It, it's, um, I, I'm doing some research here, but the 